All right, we have to do the entire thing in a British accent. British. Mine, mine will turn into like a British hick. There were, <laughs> yeah, it'll. <laughs> My, mine will morph into, like, Australian at some point. Yeah. I'm, I'm not I'll, good at the the accents. <laughs> well, There were a it, lot of British people uh, in Disney. Really? Yeah. Is it their off-season? And uh, well, it seems like it's that's, all a really, season. that's a really long plane ride to go, you know, see a duck. And, a and, and be miserable. And, Please, I'll pass. I can't even make it. miserable. I, it's just. Yes, it is. I it's mean, people. It's a lot of kids. It's a lot it's of a kids. A lot of kids in Disney. Oh, that just get, ma- that makes my head hurt on a Friday at a NASGW show. Are we live? Day hey, we're... three. Is it? Yeah, day three of day. Oh. Th- <laughs> it's day three <laughs> of the last day of a week, or something yeah. like that. And we're All tired, right. <clears throat> but we're here. We're still standing and live. We're... From Orlando at the NASGW show, the National Association of Sporting Goods Wholesalers, that's a mouthful. That's a mouthful. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, typically this show isn't about launching new products and seeing new stuff. But some companies are starting to get the idea of, well, let's uh, let's start slow releasing some stuff because this is the jump they're, off year. They're hoping that this is the, the 2020 stuff. And right. There are a lot of new products that are they're here, but they're not public they can't talk about they're literally behind closed doors locked in key it's like uh like dave bigger said it's like the uh what is it the, the zone of uh it's like you can't even get in the booth it's just no. wall walls yeah and so and a lot of times they'll have ndas right on the table like that happened second. this week before yes. would you like to see the new stuff sign this please sign this and we'll we'll get in it but um We'll get all the new stuff later, probably around SHOT Show. It'll yeah. start releasing. There's, You'll s- there's going to be stuff, a lot of stuff before SHOT Show. Yeah. Um, so don't wait until then. I think we're going to have next month a few things, December a few things, January 1. I know we're going to have a few things. Um, yeah. So there's going to be mean, a lot I'm, of new stuff coming I'm looking out. forward to it. I mean, you know, every year it seems like we get better and better and better. But this year, like seeing some of the stuff behind closed doors, mm-hmm. it – it's it's a different direction. And talking with some of the distributors who are here, who they see everything. They say, actually, I've seen a lot of neat, cool, new stuff. Yeah. And they see everything. They're well, kind of jaded sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, what do we want to do? So yesterday I went and I walked around and I saw some new stuff. And we've got yep. a video of that. But do we want to talk about what's on the table first? Let's give these guys a look Let's on do it. what we're talking about here. We kind of mentioned a, a few times in the broadcast this week about seeing Wooks because it was just – noticeable when you walk by their booth you go whoa what's that yeah um so wooks uh has a background in their kind of their their parent company has a background in making stocks manelli a lot of stocks yeah. manelli you probably don't maybe know the name because mainly they're working with the brands you do know like six hour Mossberg, Mossberg or whoever yeah. right i mean they're making like six hundred thousand gun stocks a year a so lot. they're kind of big they kind of know what they're doing here but they said you know what we want to do the uh, the Ferrari version, you know, the Fiat is owned by yeah. the same folks. Yeah. But the Fiat's not <laughs> Don't Ferrari. Don't tell them that. <laughs> but we want to do the Ferrari version. So they've they've launched this new brand, this new company called Wux, and it's W O O X. Yeah. And it's it, man, it's it's you know, it's a really unique company because I think you and I walked by the booth separately. And when we got together, finally, it was like, hey, did you see? Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> like, did you see that? That's yeah. really cool. That's really cool. So we were just talking with uh, Luke over there, and, uh, it, you know, there's an Italian background, so they kind of have that style. Um, this is just a small example. We just stole it yeah, from the booth, it. basically. Yeah. But they're um, doing a hybrid. So this is kind of their hybrid chassis system. for. Uh, they've yeah. got it in Remington 700 actions and a SIG 100 action. But they're really, you know, they're really putting an emphasis on innovation and blending the old with the new. Yeah. So, I mean, they they know wood. They know how to do cool stuff with wood. Yeah. I mean, and they do it for, like, salad bowls for crate oh, and barrel yeah. and all kinds of other stuff, even outside of this industry. But, you know, very stylized and just... To give you an idea, this is kind of one of the hotness things that we're seeing yeah. uh, as far as a chassis system that in- incorporates the metal, the wood, the engineering. I mean, M-lock. I mean, they're doing yeah. M-lock inlays in it. And so, That's so guys that are cool. looking to kind of, 
you know, get a little style. I yes. mean, you kind of have that old tradition. Uh, we'll definitely give this a look because, you know, the, it seems like they're tailoring a lot to that uh, younger crowd mm -hmm. um, is what they're doing. And they're doing knives. They're doing axes, uh, a wide variety of things. More, they, more to come from them. And, yeah. And Shotsu will and, be their big launch. Yeah. I mean, January 1 is when their website's actually going to be going live and mm -hmm. you're going to be able to buy it online. Uh, but really, j just a really cool company that's, uh, I think, going to make some waves this year. And I think a lot of folks are going to really enjoy what they're seeing from this company. And I can't wait to see where they take it from here. Yeah. So you walked around the show floor. We, yes. We've both been walking and seeing, but you actually did a little filming. Um, we put together a quick video to give you a sample of a lot of different things happening at the show. Take a look. All right, Steyer Arms. Our good buddy Chad Dyer sent us over here and says, hey, you got to check this out. So look at this. Slim lines, looks like just a flat top rail, but you got pop-up iron sights here. If anything were to happen, right here, underneath here. All right, there we go. God, it's so new, I gotta get walk through it. But a couple things for the hunter, you always kind of want a bipod, and when you don't have a bipod, you wish you had a bipod. This, you always have the bipod in stock. So extends, locks into place firmly. You know, I th I, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty innovative. But another cool thing is it's got two mags, one there obviously in the gun, and then one comes at the end of the buttstock. So no matter where you're at, you always have two mags. You can keep them loaded up, ready to go. Right, you keep them lo keep the loaded up. All right, see. Uh, but it comes in 6.5 Creedmoor. 308. 308. 243. 243. 223. And 223. So if you're hunting game in the backcountry, uh, this is a great one, especially if you don't have a pocket to keep your uh, magazines in. You can keep it right there, have it on you at all times. Already got a bipod built in. That's from six and a half pounds. That's a lightweight hunting gun right there. Yeah, that'd work. That'd work. any like small show you actually get to walk around you get to see the cool stuff now this one is from Gilboa this is the snake it is a double barrel AR two trigger mechanisms I mean you're basically stacking two ARs into one uh, possibly one, one of the cooler guns out here all right talking about lightweight hunting rifles and these guys tell me is normally private. You can't get these guns until now, and this is a lightweight hunting rifle. This is the Coda. Yep. This is our own new production rifle we came out with. Kelbley's has been around since 1981 building custom firearms direct to consumer. Right. We wanted to come out with a product that we could sell into normal production channels so that everybody can get a hold of one of our high quality rifles. Right. Uh, we teamed up with Bravo uh, Laminate Stocks out of Arizona. Um, they hooked us up with a brand new stock nobody yeah. else in the market has, so we're the first OEM manufacturer to have this stock. Super lightweight, they added carbon fiber into it. Uh, we also teamed up with Krieger uh, for their match grade yeah. hand lab barrels. But the trigger on that. The trigger? All right, give us a rundown on the trigger, because that's, that's one of the first things I noticed about this one. Aside from a smooth action, which has got guys hunting rifles, that's what you want but the trigger is always important. Tell us about it. So we didn't cheap out on this rifle at all. I know. <laughs> we put one of the highest priced triggers you can put in a rifle in this. This has one of the Bix and Andy triggers in it, and they developed a brand new trigger just for this rifle. It is a single stage, non-adjustable, two and a half pound, super crisp right. trigger. It's not a competition trigger. I mean, I think that, that's what guys have to understand is you don't want a competition trigger in your hunting rifle. I set mine at two and a half pounds. This trigger is perfect, it's crisp, it's clean, uh, which breaks your shot perfect every time. As long as you're doing your job, this guy will do that job. Absolutely. And this is the first time you guys are producing these for the public. I mean, you guys can get them, but they were kind of a special order deal, right? Yeah, exactly. So we wanted to, we wanted to be able to reach consumers in, in a larger volume than, than what we've ever done before. 
So we wanted to bring the super high accuracy, nine plus world records in the last 20 years on our products, and we wanted to bring it to the everyday hunter and give them a, a rifle that they can be proud of. Right. A rifle they can take hunting, that they can go out and plank steel at a thousand yards, and just absolutely love it, pass it down generation yep. to generation. And it'll last a lifetime. This is the Kelbley Coda lightweight hunting rifle for you and yours. Walking around show floors, a lot of times you always, your eyes are always drawn to, you know, the big guns, the double barrel ARs that we were just talking about. But one of the cool things that my man Jason and I we were just noticing is VersaCarry. Uh, you guys know them, kind of the, the clip holsters, you know, the, the easy, you know, uh, really rod the end of the barrel type holsters. But this is actually really cool. This is their Comfort Essential IWB. And it's padded on the back side. Um, so when it's riding in your appendix carry, um, it's going to be more comfortable for you. And it's pliable right here where it counts when it's not so rigid. So when you go sit down in a truck or sit down at your desk, you're going to have a little give to it right there at the end where it matters. But it's made out of water buffalo leather hybrid uh, carbon fiber inlays in there. So you got a very rigid outer layer to protect that firearm to keep it safe but uh versicare is actually doing some cool stuff the, the leather just looks good um and they're doing some cool carbon fiber inlays and some cool designs if that's what you need if you're going to open carry i guess but some cool stuff here from versicare on the show floor of nhgw There you go. <laughs> Looks like you had some fun out there. I did have some fun. And, and you know, we kind of walk, you know, the show floor looking for some new, different stuff. And VersaCarry isn't necessarily, you know, new. Right. I mean, they've been around. Yeah. Uh, they really, but, when they started out, they had this kind of weird but interesting, you know, little. Right. Like it goes in the muzzle, into the a, muzzle. It was a non-holster holster. Right. It was crazy. Um, but, you know, you walk around and something catches your eye just like the Wooks. Um, and we've actually done a swap here. Magic swap. Uh, yeah, magic cool. swap. Uh, but this is the whole system that we're running. Um, but it's like products like this that you walk around the show floor and your eyes are just drawn to it. And that's what I think most people in stores or online, that's what they're going to look for. And I think that's, you're right, that's a trend that, you know, you... If you are a gun enthusiast, shooting, hunting, whatever it may be, you like to customize. You like to make it your own. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, uh, if it makes you a better shooter, better hunter, and improves your experience, that's great. But you can have something that's tailored to you, and being the coolest guy at the range is not a bad thing either. It's not <laughs> a bad thing. You know, if, if you have, uh, and I believe uh, this one's for Remington 700, right? Uh, Remington 700. Obviously, that's kind of a place to start. Every, a lot of times with rifles, they start there because there are like 10 million of them out oh, there. Oh, yeah. And uh, you can, you know, drop it in there. Now you can customize your experience and uh, just, you know, tailor it to what you need. Exactly. And and we kind of uh, talked off air about, you know, folks going to this kind of lighter, you know, sleeker look. Um, and a lot of it's for those adventure guys that are looking for those DIY hunts. Um, but kind of customizing their experience rather than maybe going with an outfitter um, or a small tract of land. They're starting to open up, and I think that's where the market's headed. I think you're, you're seeing a definite trend in guys looking to make it their own. Um, right. And I think right. that's where, you know, the uh, Kelbley, uh, the, you know, even the VersaCarry, and especially the Wooks, you know, you're looking at, like, sleeker designs. All right, so three days at the show. Uh, trends that we're going to see in 2020. What's Ooh. your predictions? Ooh. I can tell you I, what my first one is. We've already been talking about it. It's not a secret. But red dots on handguns. Yep. More of that coming. A lot of yes. it. And, I mean, it, to the point of it being basically just standard. standard. It's like, you know, used to be 60 years ago, um, a magnified scope on a rifle was kind of a weird thing. In fact, yep. when they started doing it for hunting, a lot of agencies and states were saying, I don't know, that seems like an unfair advantage. Right. Now, today, <laughs> you want that's just like, you, you, if you see somebody hunting with iron sights, it'd be like, what Whoa, in the what's world wrong are you with doing, you? guy? <laughs> and, and I think that that may be where we're headed yeah. on red dots on handguns. That, and we've been talking about that yeah. for you know, a couple of years now. Is, you know, but we're finally starting to get that momentum where everybody's like, 
Yeah, that's going to be the new standard. And I think right now on the hunting side, what I'm seeing is kind of what we talked about, you know, that slimmer, lighter feel. Uh, Weatherby had a uh, their backcountry TI, yeah. which is 4.7 pounds. Uh, <laughs> and you talk, and that's in 6.5 Creedmoor and 308, and, you know, a lot of those popular calibers. Yeah. And I think, you know, companies are, you know, starting to see like, okay, they want lighter they want more functionality when they're packing in the back country. And I think, mm -hmm. you know, especially we're getting those guys who are now hunters that are experiencing this going back and making products for the guys like they want it. Yep. Yeah. So, so lots of cool stuff here at the show. Um, we'll be, you know, filming with some of the new products coming up, getting them in beforehand. So we'll have that ready to launch on the days they launch and we'll give you a heads up on that. But, uh, let us know what you want to see from the show. Any questions you have, comments, and uh, and there's going to be more coming out. Um, I'm actually kind of walking around and finding some more new stuff that I'm going to write about in the newsletter. Mm -hmm. um, don't forget, we still have a giveaway going on. Go to GunTalk.com/backslash/win, um, and that's the that's the it's legal. It's the legal everywhere. Legal everywhere. So you're sitting there watching YouTube in California. Go ahead and enter. Yeah, you can go do ahead that. and enter. You can win. You can like, win this This is stuff. one of those that can actually be shipped to you. Or your FFL. More than $7,000 worth in prizes, but guntalk.com slash win, and just sign up, and maybe you'll be the winner. Maybe. Maybe. You know, somebody's got to win it. Might as well be you, right? You can't, All right. You can't win if you don't play. <laughs> That's right. All right, KJ, Ryan from the NHDW Show. Uh, we'll see you guys on our next live. Yep. Have a good weekend. <laughs>